Today I'm here to showcase just how little NASCAR 21 Ignition changed from what we saw in initial trailers and gameplay footage of people playing the game at on-site demos at Daytona versus the final product. Anytime people like myself criticized early gameplay footage or the initial trailers, we were told the game was still heavily work in progress and that developers would take everyone's feedback and make changes prior to the game's actual launch date in late October of 2021. I am here to show that this is demonstrably not true. The game was practically unchanged from the first reveal trailers, and all the issues we initially spotted are still present in the final product. In my very first video warning people that, hey, NASCAR 21 Ignition might not be very good if it's based on the R-Factor 2 engine, I advise people that, dating back to 2016, there are posts on the official R-Factor 2 forums explaining that the stock car rules package in the game is actually broken and not scoring cars correctly. These issues have not been fixed, five years later and are still present in NASCAR 21 Ignition. Over two months out from release date on August 11th, 2021, the initial gameplay reveal trailer uh, was dropped for NASCAR 21 Ignition and there is a scene in which the 62 car is spun into the wall and there is no visible damage on the car's nose. This issue was still present at launch. Uh, you could see this across a variety of content creators videos anytime they would try and drive into the wall at full speed. Another issue that we saw in the initial gameplay trailer dated August 11th, 2021, again, over two months out from launch, was the AI skill level. There was a shot of James Davison leading in a Rick Ware car at Nashville nine laps into a race. This was never fixed. I myself experienced bizarre running orders at Talladega Super Speedway and pretty much every other content creator's videos, you would see really weird oddities like Quinn Hauff leading at Martinsville. Never got fixed. Another oddity spotted during the August 11th reveal trailer the AI cars, every single one of them, were missing the apex at certain tracks, like they couldn't even run the proper racing line. This too, made it into the launch day version of the game. Last major issue, because otherwise I'd be here all night, uh, in the late August demo that was available on site to those who attended the Coke 0400 at Daytona International Speedway, uh, a lot of content creators who got to play the game early mentioned that when you tried to bump draft or push an AI car, they didn't really understand what you were trying to do to them and they would start wiggling around and try and shake you off their bumper. Some claimed that they reported this to the Motorsport Games representatives on site and that they were taking into account player feedback. This never got fixed. It's still in the game at launch. You can't bump draft AI cars. It doesn't work, they wiggle around, it's useless, you can't do it. So what's the lesson here? If a developer is showing you their game for any reason at all, the game is 99.9% .9 done, and your little pieces of feedback aren't going to change shit.